Palace Memorial that sits on Leipzig Boulevard here in central Mitte of Berlin. This monument started its life in front of the palace. It was built in 1776 or so uh, by Karl von Kantard, the architect for Frederick the Great, uh, Frederick II, in case you want to know. He didn't like the palace, and he especially didn't like how it sat on the museum island where it, uh, and faced the river in the front of the palace. And they had a whole row of houses around it, and so uh, between him and the river. So and he had them all the houses were cleared, and he had this wonderful semicircle, half round, a trium sort of thing, uh, built across from the palace to give a lovely four-court look to the palace. Now, when the communists tore down the palace in 1951, they saved this and they sanitized all the pieces off of it so that you couldn't tell it had anything to do with the Prussians whatsoever. For instance, on top of the monument here, they took the crown and they took the Prussian eagle off the top so that it would just look like a sterile crown from anywhere. Smart ideas. So finally, it used to have a large, when it was in front of the palace, had a very large statue of Wilhelm, Wilhelm I, the king who ruled Germany when it became an empire and merged with Prussia in 17, uh, 1800, excuse me, in 71. But his statue used to be right here when this was in front of the palace. That was destroyed by the communists. When they moved it here, they conveniently put the wonderful mile marker here, showing you the uh, distance between Berlin and anywhere in the Prussian Empire. And this is ground zero for all of measuring for any of the highways and royal roads of Prussia throughout the years. So this monument was destroyed in the war and it was rebuilt in 1979, and so it's a highlight today of the old Prussian palace ruins. Thanks.